back on the beach, and the keys to the match, I see it, is that while Verbringer and Lucena have been traveling the world trying to qualify for the Olympics, they've got their battle scars and they're tested. Scott and Hayden are rested and ready to go. Second one, the rising winds, you can look at the flags and it's a crazy windy day and it's picked up a lot over earlier in the tournament. This really favors Scott and Hayden. This third is you're gonna see two of the most contrasting defenses around. Scott and Hayden, really complex and Lucena Furbringer, really simple. Lucena is blocked by Sean Scott. Scott is listed as 6'5". He's one of the shortest big blockers in the world, but you think technically he's darn good. He's the technically best blocker, and even regardless of technicality, he's probably the number three blocker on tour right now. 5-3 is our score. Hayden and Scott on top. Scott to serve. Lucena, Doug, Hayden. Lucena pops it back the other way. Hear the wind rustling through the microphone. Scott puts it away. Lucerne Scott, he's the kind of player that goes 100% all time. He told us that he doesn't and can't go 70% because he's not big enough. He's not physical enough to do that. He's blue collar. He's definitely the tortoise and not the hare. This guy's gotten better every year, every day. Such a hard worker. 6-3 our score. Here's Matt Furbringer. Likes the high set, gets it, and over the top he goes. When Matt Furbringer is in system, perfect pass, perfect set, he's the best on the beach here. Hits over Sean, no problem. Now the problem is in this wind, it's really tough to be in system. Well, Furbringer will serve it. This is a team that's been together just since April. They've really made some inroads, especially international. Scott. And Scott hammers it on one through. Sean Scott gets most of the serves on his team. Do you think that's a good idea? I think it's kind of historically like Sinjin and Randy. You know, if everyone starts serving Hayden, I think it actually could transform. But Sean's such a workhorse. You know, I don't know. He can handle the burden more than Johnny can for sure. Sinjin Smith and Randy Stokos, of course, one of the great teams of all time. Won the most tournaments together ever at 114. And once again, Ferber, high set, pokes it right to Hayden. Hayden on the left. And Hayden tapping it through. Hayden was an All-American indoor player at San Diego, San Diego State in their Hall of Fame. Once had 57 kills in an indoor match. And a two-time indoor Olympian, so he knows his way around the net as an attacker. He's such a finisher. He's got a quick arm, a quick jump, and he's got the best vision on the beach. So Hayden spins one to Nicholas Senna. The ball was not touched. So Hyden Scott riding out to a big lead here in the first set. And the interesting thing is they are giving up points, Lucena and Furbringer are, on the good side. Mm. They've got a lot of wind. They can just take big, aggressive swings, but they have this nervous energy right now they need to get out of. Good side, wind in your face. Here comes Lucena. Another dig by Hyden. Furbringer there. Try Furbringer on the right side. Pokes it long. Hayden scrambling. Down the line, Furbringer, no. They won't. Oh, they did get there. And Furbringer can't bring it back. Yeah, you would think the longer the rally goes, the more scrambling, the better for Hayden and Scott. If it's a side out of fair or it's pass set hit, Furbringer and Lucetta have a shot. Just like I talked in the keys, the more simple the play is, the better it is for Matt Furbringer. If it gets a little scrambly, it definitely favors the other team. Road to the finals for Hayden and Scott. All two set sweeps. And they have been playing terrific volleyball. Just one loss to Hayden and Scott. Otherwise, Furbringer and Lucena perfect. Hayden set to put the ball in play. Now on the good side, leading 10 4. Lucena chopping it through. 
Nicholson looking for a new partner earlier this year. He was looking for a consistent big man and a guy who could hand set because he's not big. He's only 6'1", and he settled on Furbringer, who's got both aspects to his game. Right now, Nick Lucena and Matt Furbringer are the third-ranked American team behind Gibbon Rosenthal, Dahlhauser, and Rogers. They're 80 points behind Gibbon Rosie, and that's a one-place finish. So they're close. They have a chance to qualify. Scott over the top and down. Well, the net on Sean Scott, and he's not arguing it. Some of that win, the set, the pass was not as good as he had liked, and the set not as good from Hayden. So Nick Lucena, his team trailing by four. Lucena, a local favorite here. He grew up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And part of the first team to ever win a tournament from Florida when he broke through back in 2005 with Phil Dahlhauser. He and Dahlhauser remain good friends. Dahlhauser leaving Lucena for Todd Rogers. Of course, if you've been following volleyball, you know Todd Rogers laid up right now. He had knee surgery about a month ago on the mend. He'll get back in shape. Meniscus. Rogers and Dahlhauser, the number one team in the world. Now Furbringer, that long indoor attack. Furbringer puts it away. Big contrast between the two teams right now is the serving strategy. Hyden and Scott really going for it on every side, not afraid to miss serves. But, to, but uh, Nick and Matt have been much safer about their serves. I'd like to see a little more aggression from them. Wind continues to rustle here in South Beach. Furbringer. Nice up, Lucena. Not yet. Hyden digs back. Hyden. Boom! Shakalaka. So John Hyden. Great dig in the angle. And what he's able to do that Lucena couldn't do is finish the play. He's got such a casual swagger on the court. He does. One of his nicknames is Johnny the Hand. He's got very big hands, so he's able really to turn the ball. 12-7 our score. Lucena off the hands and down. A good, aggressive swing for Nick. And I can pick up Lucena all of a sudden is in Furbringer's ear. He's saying, let's go. We need some more energy right now. And you can see after this kill, he goes and hits Sean really high. And then he talks to his partner and gets him fired up. So now Lucena to serve. His team down by four. First set, men's championship final. Scott. And Scott puts it away. Off, guys. Oh, he's 13 8 is 13 8 on the score. John Hyden and Sean Scott flexing their muscles early here in South Beach. The Miami Beach Pro is brought to you by Jose Cuervo. Jose Cuervo reminds everyone to play hard and drink responsibly. By Mitch, by Paul Mitchell, style isn't born, it's groomed. And by Spalding, the original and best ball on the beach.